Hey, we're back. We're doing InDesign uh, intro two. Going to be just looking at making new documents, and that's pretty much it. So, um, kind of an easy breezy session here. The very first thing we need to do is make sure InDesign is open. And we're going to go to the file menu and look at what our options are under new. So, four things here. We're really only going to talk about one, and that is the document. You may think that we need to make a book, especially when we get into the magazine portion of our uh, work in class, but a document is all we need. A book is actually something where you compile multiple InDesign documents together and make a, a even larger sort of project. So here we're only concerned about document. When we pull up the new document window, it gives us um, some, some menus and options. So our intent is print. You can choose web or digital publishing, but in our case we're looking at print. And, um, and then the other information needs to come in here. I'm just going to first pretend that we're making our door hanger project in InDesign, which we're not. We're making it in Illustrator. But what happens if we wanted to try to do something like that in InDesign? So our number of pages would be set to two because we have a front and a back. So it's two pages. So likewise, in Illustrator, that would be two artboards. But uh, InDesign considers them pages. Do we want them to be facing pages? No, they don't face each other, they're opposite. It doesn't even matter because we're sending it off to a printer, they don't care if it's facing pages or not. But for us to design it, it makes more sense to uncheck facing pages. So I'm gonna have two pages, kind of like artboards, that'll be separate from each other and not uh, set up in a way in which they're arranged to be like folded or something like that. Start page is one, doesn't really matter here. Um, and then we have our size. There are different cars are driving by. Pardon me. Uh, we have page size presets, you know, different things you can choose from. But in this case, we know the dimensions are going to be 3.667 by 8.5. That is the dimensions of the door hanger. Columns, doesn't matter in this case. We're just dealing with our own sort of layout. So leave it at 1. And margins. Margins is the inside safety area that we talked about setting up in our own template in Illustrator. And I believe our margins were a quarter of an inch on each side. No, actually, I think we did 0.125, an eighth of an inch. Um, so that's the safety area inside the document to make sure you don't get too close to the edge where the knife is going to go cut these things up and make them really awesome printed products. The bleed, very similar to Illustrator. 0.125 in this case, that is the area outside of our artboard that allows us to make sure that backgrounds, photos that need to go full all the way to the cut line exceed the cut line to make sure that we never ever see any edges of paper. So um, that is the equivalent of that template that I showed you guys how to make up in Illustrator. So if I hit OK, we see page one set up similar to the way that we made it in Illustrator, and then if I scroll down, there's page two. So if I really wanted to make the door hanger in InDesign, this would be step one. I'm setting it up with two pages. I've uh, identified my bleed and my margin. And then from there, I can start bringing in the artwork and the type and text information and so on, and we're good. So what about a, a greater project, one like the one that you'll be doing for your final project? I'm going to do Command N, which is the shortcut for new, right, document. In this case, um, the project that we will be making will be four pages. So I'm going to do four pages, and I do want them to be facing pages. So here, it's setting it up as if it is a book, and the project that you'll be doing after the door hanger is going to be kind of a book. It's more of a magazine, but it'll have a cover page, and then you open up the cover page. There'll be an article on the inside. It's a full spread. It'll go over two facing pages, and then on the back side, we'll have an advertisement. So here, that's four pages. We want facing pages, and our start page will be one. And I'll show you the significance of the start page being one in a moment. Page size, we'll just leave it with 8.5 by 11. Our margins, I can take back down to a quarter inch. 
And then our bleed will be 0.125 again. And when I hit OK, the first thing we see is page one. But if I zoom out, you'll see that here's the actual layout of this thing. So the cover page is solo. The inside information is a fold, and they should be together because we'll design it that way. And then the very back page, which is the advertisement, lives by itself, kind of like the cover page. So that's really nice, the way that it puts these things together. So if you consider pages in, in, in InDesign, they are the equivalent of artboards in Illustrator. Only InDesign really is thinking about the publication and the printing and the output of this as being more book and traditional print uh, orientation. So this is a great start here. Now, if I wanted to do something different where I just was creating the inside information of a pamphlet, and I didn't really, I wasn't concerned about the, the cover, maybe because someone else is doing it and I'm a part of a larger project, then when I do new, and if I said I wanted to do like eight pages and they're facing, I just need to make sure that I set my start page to be two. I'll leave the margins and bleed just what they are by default. And when I hit OK, it puts them together. So now what I have is all of the guts of the document, and I'm not concerned with what's on the outside or the backside. So this is all of the interior information, front, um, not front, first page, the facing page, and then behind it would be this area below it and its facing page and so on. So you can kind of get an idea of how um, InDesign will lay out and, and benefit you if you are involved in a publication like that. It's pretty awesome. So there you go. There's setting up a new document. That's all we're going to cover. And uh, uh, we'll be jumping into more in the next session. Why am I looking over there as if I'm talking to you? Because you're right there. Enjoy your day.